YouTube. Welcome to Geek. Shh. All right. So last time I told y'all, um, if you see the first video, if you need a step by step tutorial, how to uh, thermal pad a uh, revision two of the 3080, look at the first video on my channel. This video is about the, the gold plate to copper plate it. I'm going to see the temperatures before and after. So I'm going to fast forward through. I'm going to fast forward through this whole process because if you want to see step by step on how to open the card, just watch my first video. And I'm going to take you all directly to when I'm putting the copper plate on. So let's get to it. All right, y'all. So there it go. Um, it looked a little crazy because remember in the last video I told y'all I was gonna put thermal putty on under the on this on these uh, memory chips, and then I was gonna put the pad on top of it and do a video on that. Well, I went ahead and did that, and it made no difference. So <laughs> I never put that video out. So for that point, so we are gonna use the gold plate this time, but. You're supposed to use paste, but what I'm gonna do since I already got this putty and the putty only got like a six month shelf life, I'm gonna use putty. I'm gonna use the putty on this. Already got putty on there, so I'm gonna just put more putty. Hopefully it, hopefully it works. It's the same uh, Calvin Rado, however you say it. So it should not be an issue. If I use putty instead of paste, we shall see. <laughs> but I don't want to, I don't want the putty just to go to waste. Good thing I didn't buy a whole bunch of this stuff. Good damn thing I did not buy a whole bunch of putty. Like, <laughs> it really did nothing. I'm not gonna clean off the old one because it makes no sense to. Yeah, so Hey yo Darko, you going brave. I know you gotta put it, definitely gotta be generous with it. So if you doing this, uh, instead of using putty, you could just use paste. Well, I just don't wanna waste the thermal. 
when I heard first heard about copper, they were they used the paste, but they were saying it's better to use putty. When I first heard about that's when I first heard about putty. This was back in summer. This copper plate thing is not new. Some Russian guy on YouTube actually did it, but he used the the copper like shims. This new guy that's using the copper, he just plated it. Instead of using the shims, he just made one big plate to make it easier for people. But it's not new. People have been using the plates for a long time. covers all of them that should be enough try to preserve some of this putty all right so that definitely should be enough and what I got to do is put a one millimeter thermal pad right here So instead of thermal putty, they use MX4, but you know. all over the die. It's enough of that. Alright, 
this way. All right, boom. All right, so before I put it on there, I gotta put a one millimeter on here so the plate is not slanted. So I had a one millimeter extreme that I already had from back in the day, just sitting here already. Uh, so we just put that there. That's just so it doesn't have to tilt. The plate doesn't have to tilt. All right, so. Good snug fit. Definitely a good snug fit. Let me take a picture. My phone. Let me just do a closer video. Matter of fact. Alright, so you can see a closer vision of it. Buddy did a good job holding this thing in place. I'm not gonna lie. Did a good job of holding this in place. I am not gonna lie at all. I might like the putty more than the paste on here. Even though I never did the paste. <laughs> never did the paste, but I like my I might like the putty more than the paste on here. <laughs> Never did the pace a day in my life. <laughs> All right, so these obviously stay the same. Got the 1.5 on here. That should stay the same. No change at all. That should stay the same. Now you're supposed to put a little, they said you're supposed to put a little bit of pad on here. It should be a little bit on here. You're supposed to put a little bit of paste. A line of paste. said put a little one millimeter 
dermal pad on it. But I think this this uh, dermal putty holds it. I think it really holds it better, like way better. So honestly, don't even think that's necessary, but nonetheless. So they wanna, they want you to put, where's my knife at? Oh man. Where's my knife? Where did I put the knife? I remember I just capped that knife. I don't know where I put it though. Holy crap, I don't know where I put that knife. Where is the knife? I had it up here. I, I just cut it. Cut this. Where would I put the knife after I cut it? Oh, here it goes. All right, so. Just want a piece here, piece here. That's how it looked from the picture I saw. So. All right, so the reason I made this mistake of putting pads on the plate is because I've seen certain pictures of people assembling their uh, plates and they put that on there, but I didn't realize that it's only for certain AIBs. It is not for Founders Editions. Certain AIBs, you put the .5 on there. So when I put it all together and I started up the rig, I, autom I automatically paid the price. The fans were going crazy. The core temp was way higher than it needed to be. But one thing for sure, look at those memory. Look at that memory though. Look at the mem though. It definitely did what it's supposed to do. So I went ahead and uh, took it out and took the pads out and put it back in. And it's way, it's a way solid situation. It is definitely good. Um, then I started to think about the difference between, what would the difference be between using thermal putty and paste? So I went ahead and did my due diligence, started taking apart the card again and removing all that thermal putty, which was a lot. Thermal putty is extremely messy. Pace is messy too, but I think thermal putty takes the cake. So that was a lot going on here. It was a lot on there. It took me a little while. I'm speeding up the video, but it took a little minute. So I'm gonna show you um, when I finally got through all this, taking out all this thermal putty, then I started the process with the paste. So I'm gonna go ahead and show y'all with that. And I didn't use no pads this time. Just thermal paste <laughs> I did it right it this time. So go ahead and check it out. That putty is some serious stuff, boy.
That should definitely be enough. Oh, then I gotta put this on here. That should definitely be enough. That should definitely be enough for this nonsense. definitely be enough. They should have spread like crazy. That should definitely be enough. So, that should definitely be enough for that. Now we gotta put some more. Hold on, please. It's a little coke line, a little sniff, just to hold it in place. Now, let me see what I can do with these thermal pads. Okay, so in conclusion, will I do the thermal putty or the paste? I will probably go with the paste. The thermal putty is extremely messy. Well, both of them were messy, but the thermal putty I feel like is a little more messy. There's not really much difference between the two. I know it looks like uh, the paste is just a few degrees better, but I, you know, I don't necessarily believe that. I think it takes a little time for things to adjust, and then after it adjusts, you know, the temps get better. You know, um, they both extremely messy, but I would end up going with the pace if I was someone. Once you, I, I feel like once you do this copper plate mod, 
you should not really open that card up again because it's just way too messy maybe after like a year or two i don't know um now who is this actually for if i was a gamer i would automatically get this immediately if i was editing videos i would definitely get it because this plate costs about 50 a little over 50 dollars shipped um, like I said, a friend of mine got it for me. He bought a whole bunch and he got a real good discount. So he, he gave me one. Um, so for gamers and editors, I will automatically get it because you're only really doing one. But if you're a miner, it get real expensive real quick. But do I think it's worth it? For someone like me, I have about seven or eight 3080s founders editions. So for me, you know, I, I can do it or I, I I don't have to do it. It's not really necessary. But if you someone and you got the I only got two giga hash. If you someone you you sitting around three, four, five, six, seven giga hash, I definitely think it's worth the investment because I'm consistently 10 degrees lower in memory temperatures over my padded cards. See what I'm saying? And my padded cards don't really do too bad. Uh those two 3080s that I, the one that I did the copper plate on and the one that's right next to it, I have that in a position where it's not really next to the window. I'm moving it next to the window um, tonight. So it's not really, I don't really think the copper plate is really necessary for me because I'm gonna have it by the window. But for other people, I definitely think this is what you wanna go with, especially when you got three, four, five, six giga hash and things of that nature. You definitely want to help yourself out because look at this video I'm going to show you right now of this one guy who has a mining farm and he was showing his temperatures. Yeah, he was at like 50, 51, but his his memory temps was at 100 and something. I don't even think he he pads it. So definitely, I think you um, should definitely copper plate your cards um, if you can, but it get real expensive the more the more you get, but it might definitely be worth the investment so y'all get in the comments y'all let me know what you think if you plan on buying one or what i'll put the link to uh the link to it in the description so yeah other than that this is geeksh and i'm out